Hey, you got the captain, Captain Fuzzy here, and I'm back with another tutorial. Uh, this one, I am going to show you how to export an image, or as we like to call them, a poster from Source Filmmaker. Uh, I see a lot of people asking how to do this on the Source Filmmaker message boards, and so I've decided I'm going to do a little short tutorial and show you how I like to do it. And then if you want to modify this to suit your own personal style, well then, please feel free to do it. But at least you'll have a way, an idea of what you're doing. So, this is how I like to do it. I've got an image here and I want to export it as a poster. First thing you want to do, make sure you are ready to go. Check your render settings. I actually don't like that. I'm going to change that. Okay check your render settings make sure everything looks right everything is set up the way you want it it looks like how you want it and that's all good to go now when you're ready go to file export and right here's where everybody tends to goof up uh, they either go for poster or they go for image uh, no we're not gonna do that we're not gonna do that at all we're gonna go to movie and I know you're probably sitting back going, movie? Now, wait a minute. I don't want to export a movie. I just want to export one lousy little picture here. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do that. Bear with me. First off, you got to decide where you want to put it. Now, this is the default output path for Source Filmmaker, and it goes to the Sessions folder within Source Filmmaker's directory and is usually named after whatever the project's named after. However, you can change this and we can pick a different location. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to pick a different location. Oops, we don't want to go there. Go back. Yep, even I screw up. <laughs> okay, now I've got the location. Now you have to give it a name. It doesn't matter, you know, this don't, doesn't have to be the final name. I mean, you can call it whatever you want. Just don't do stupid stuff like this. Don't do that, because all that's going to do, Windows doesn't like it, and Source Filmmaker really doesn't like it. So don't name it that. Just give it some simple name that you'll know what it is. So I'm just going to call mine Sniper. Now, you have to add an extension to this. It has to be there. Now you can do dot .jpg for JPEG or, you know, whatever. But I highly recommend that you do dot .png. The reason for this is it, I get the best results out of the PNG versus any other format that I've exported as. JPEG, you can do it but it sometimes messes up your lighting settings it sometimes messes up displaying uh, particles correctly displaying unusual effects correctly it, it messes that stuff all up so in my opinion PNG really does not I've had my best luck with it I've had it do good particle effects I've had it done do good unusual effects uh, I've had it do good with lighting effects custom lighting effects so uh, trust me on this PNG is really the way that you want to go but you please feel free to experiment and do it however you feel like you need to but for for this tutorial we're doing PNG so once you got it set over here and just simply click Save so now it's all set up now we are not exporting a movie so we are going to change this image sequence now it pops up PNG. You're not going to need a WAV file because you're not exporting the movie. You're just simply exporting an image. And then you can set your resolution over here. Uh, by default, SFM goes up to 720p, and that's wh what it usually picks as a default resolution. I have modified mine for 1080p, and uh, that's... A subject for another tutorial so I'm not going to show you how I did it right now but uh, let's just say it's really easy so once we do that then we want to come down here and change this to custom 
and that will ungray these two boxes here. Now we also want to change this to frames. Now frames are individual pictures that make up a movie. So we don't want a movie so that means we only want one frame for one individual picture. So it's going to start at zero so we're going to change this to one. Now once it's changed to one all we've got to do is export movie and do not mess with it just sit back relax and let it do its thing and as you can see it will pop up say not responding and junk like that but as you can see if you just leave it alone your image comes out don't panic <laughs> keep calm make your image now to double check we can go back here to where my image is and I put it over here in this folder right here and there it is yeah now you'll see this file here basically all this is is just a text file that exports the settings you used and everything like that I, it's not really something that you have to be terribly worried about but it just basically gives some inform information on what you did and how you did it and everything like that so so you don't really need to worry about that. You can even delete it because it's not it's not needed. It's more like a report. But as you can see here, here is our exported image in 1080p and it's ready to go. And that's all there is to it. It's that simple. Then you can pull this into an image editor or whatever, do whatever you want to it, and then upload it to Steam and go on about your business. So, there is also another way to do this that is a little more complicated, but not much, not much. Let's say you have an animation going here and you want to, um, you want to stop it at a certain point in the animation and have an image of that. So let's just say I've got something, this one hasn't been animated, but let's just say I've got something going on at about three seconds. So I'm, I put my playhead at the three second mark, and this is where I want to take my image from. So we are going to export it from this point. So now you've got to adjust just a little bit. So we're going to go back to export movie. And of course, as you see, all my settings stayed the same because I'm still in the same session. Now, what we're going to do is change this to frames. Or to seconds, rather. Now, what happens here is, is when you change it to seconds, now you have to make sure that you make a point of where you want to export this from. So now, what we want to do is, is change this number here to two point nine six six because that's where it ends when you're flipping through your frames now we want to change this to three point zero 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 so we want just this little short thing here to export the frame that we want and then again you click export movie and let it do its thing and we'll just sit back it, it will export a little bit longer sometimes depending on how you set it than what you originally did but in essence it's basically only exporting like one frame so now we'll open this up and now we have two images here and that's where we exported both of those. So what I'm going to do here is delete this because I don't need it. And I can delete one of these images here because I don't need it. Because they both look the same. And if I open it up, there you go. There is your image. It's been exported from the position that you wanted it in. And again, 
you can import it into your favorite image editor and do whatever you want with it. And there you go. That is all there is to exporting images from Source Filmmaker. I am the Captain, Captain Fuzzy, and I am out of here.